so um, feel free to go back and uh, review this, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so the um, our our main setup, um, our main setup that we uh, go over uh, in the trade room are these zone trades. So these zone trades are hey Emma, Chris, Tina, Leo, hey Thomas. Hey, Derek, good evening. All right, so the main uh, zone trades are we're trying to get into these zone levels for reversals, and this works on any market, any futures, any currency. I was just looking at the currencies yesterday. Works really good on the Aussie, really good on the British pound, the euro. Um, so, you know, whether you trade currencies, whether you trade futures, uh, futures, uh, the main ones that I like to look at, would be obviously the S&P, um, the Dow minis, the Dow, uh, the YM. Um, you got the Russell, you got the RTY, the main Russell contract. You got all the micros you can trade off of this too. This chart's really good with the micros. Um, you got the Bitcoin micro, Bitcoin big contract. So pretty much anything that uh, futures, currency, even works on individual stocks. Um, and also, I've been looking into the spiders and diamonds and so on with this also. So but pretty much across the board, it's the same methodology. Whatever market you trade, uh, these markets like to um, reverse inside of these zones after we get a big volume spike inside these zones. So the whole key ingredient to the system um, really is you want to try to catch the wrongly positioned traders, meaning the counter trend traders against the overall trend. And we're trying to catch these reversal points this is today in the S&P today um, at this level. So you're trying to catch these zones where you can see where these uh, possible reversals can take place. In order for that to happen, to have consistent results, um, you, need, you need the indicator to produce uh, exhaustion points. And that's exactly what it does. What it does is if you see these, um, we're the only one in the entire uh, um, um, world that actually I know that has this type of uh, volume spike system. Um, this is created. We do not copy this off of anybody. Uh, this is my own proprietary technique. So um, what's neat about it is what I found is that I found big, uh, you know, when I used to look at time and sales back in the 1990s, when I was a small order execution trader, I found that we saw big reversals when you saw a lot of counter trend traders hitting the offer uh, against the trend or hitting the bid against the trend also. So you get these exhaustion points. So what I came up with is I came up with these speed bars. And um, these speed bars uh, um, is I designed it where it, it, when they go against overall trend of the market, it tells you you got a possible exhaustion point in the market or possible reversal. Why? Because you got all these counter trend traders really hitting. I mean, if you were to look at the time and sales, they're really hitting the offer uh, on counter trend trade moves up against trend down. Or if you're in a downtrend, they're really hitting the bid hard when it's trying to reverse to the upside. So what we want to try to do then is we want to try and wait for these zones. These are areas of importance. Now these zones were created. Uh, based upon, you know, obviously everybody likes the golden ratio, um, you know, the, the 61.8, 62% ratio, the 38%, you know, the 1.272, the 1.618. So these zones are generated basically upon, you know, a, the, uh, the Fibonacci areas of a retracement. So what you want to try to do is you want to try and wait for price to get inside of these zones when you see a big volume spike in the market or speed bars. I call it speed bars because there's a lot of speed coming in the market because sometimes the volume doesn't have to be outrageous to move these markets. So there's big speed coming in the market. So when you see these speed bars come up and you get inside of these zones, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a reversal with a small stop. Now, what you can do is you can trade this, a short-term intermediate and long, uh, I mean a shorter intermediate and a longer ATR zone. So 
what I did is I sent out charts to everybody on zone one, zone two, and zone three. Uh, the, the first zone that hits is a, called a shallow retracement. I went over that in the last video. I don't need to go over this again, but those are really, really special. Uh, um, I call them, we'll call them moon trades, I guess, because the potential is really, really big with very small stops. Because what happens if the market gets really hot and you get a lot of speed bars to the downside or upside, it likes to go to the shallow retracement and it likes to reverse. So check out the last video on that. I show you how that's when all six ATRs line up in one direction. They're all red or all green. I don't want to have to go over that again. I want to go over the uh, new indicator and strategy in this video for about 20 minutes. But if you do not know how to, uh, if you have not played that video, I really highly uh, suggest that you get educated on how to trade that setup. It worked phenomenal again today. Um, but what happens is when you have news events like non-farm payrolls, um, CPI, PPI, GDP, that happens every single month. You got the Fed, FOMC minutes or what have you. A couple, uh, literally a minute or 30 seconds after that news event, you'll get them retesting these zones. And it'll stop typically within a couple ticks of that shallow retracement if it's going to work. And then we put our small stop in. So I know a lot of you guys and gals have emailed me, have played that. Um, you want all six red or all six green ATRs? My long, my intermediate, my short should all be red. Right here is just one zone. If you're trading the six zone, you add it three times on here. Your long, intermediate, and small all are going together. And you look for that first retracement to it. And you're looking for, for a continuation. So play the last video. It's a great setup. Um, a lot of you traders have responded very uh, very well with it and, um, and sent me a lot of emails about it. So um, that's how we want to trade the uh, uh, the markets that are really hot. So let's just go over a normal retracement. You know, you can you can put whatever zones you want. Now we have these workspaces already set up for you. So we have a uh, we have a zone of uh, a shorter zone. We have an intermediate zone, and we have a, a larger zone. So the larger zone, you're typically looking for a major top, major bottom. That's what's happened today in the S and P in this afternoon hit the larger zone and the market just fell apart. It stopped right at it and it just tanked. So, you know, you know, you can put all three on there. If you just want to put one on there, it's up to you. The new indicator that um, I'm working on to update you guys um, with, uh, we have the workspaces already set up for you right now with them, but it's called the, uh, the, the J zone indicator. And the J zone is very simple. It's very easy to understand. I've got my speed period. I got my speed candles. I got my uh, DS period, overbought, oversold. I, I got just two ATR links in there. I got my ATR in here and ATR in there. So you can, you can. I want to show you this variation because I have my my small zone is 26 to 32, and my large intermediate zone is 38 to 45, and my larger is 62 to 70. But you can mix the zones. It this is a 38 26 zone. And if you find a market, this is the S&P, this is today, um, is that a zone that you really, really like to work with, I send the workspaces out on the zones that I like. But, I, I, you know, this is a 3826. It works very well also. It's the same technique, you know. And, and you can run the strategy I have off this also. Um, there's a strategy that I'm building now that will buy and sell inside these zones with a small stop. And I'll have... Uh, target one, target two, target three, target four. So um, you can put that as it, it, uh, in in any zone that you particularly want per market. I give you what zones that I think the market likes to stop out. A lot of you guys have been successful trading those zones. So, um, but like I said, you can mix and match the way you want it because I left the indicator open for you. The one thing I added in the new update you're going to get is you're going to get these arrows. Now what these arrows will do, it'll tell you when you we have, we know if we get inside of a zone, if you don't want to put limit orders inside the zone and you want confirmation that the market's going to roll over, you can use the DS below. And the DS is the oscillator we use below. And how you can do it, you can put any input. So this one has a 20 input for the DS period. A lot of you guys and gals use a 20 period after we get inside of a zone for confirmation of a rollover. And we have, we, um, We've done tons of back testing on this, and 20 works really well. But let's say 
that you want a different zone, that you don't want a 20 and you want to change it. You can change this to any period and the arrow will pop up based upon whatever the pulling is down below 80, 80 or above 20 for buys or below 80 for sells. So if you want it for 20 on this one and you want it to see when it rolls over, then your entry is right there when the arrow fires, entry right here when the arrow fires. And so you can you can put it, you can dictate where you want the input to be based upon after you get inside the zone for confirmation of entry. All right. So the strategy then will work off of this indicator. So the indicator is very stripped down indicator. It's very easy to understand. What I have is I have the, uh, like I said, I had the ATR link, uh, the first ATR. My color change is just when the ATR will start printing red or printing green. This is two lower highs or two higher lows. You can put three higher lows, three lower highs. That's when this ATR starts printing. Um, your second ATR, obviously, that is your zone. So your zone is 38 to 26 on this particular chart. All right. And then your DS period is where you're going to get pulled in at. So wherever you want these arrows to fire, you don't have to watch that bottom oscillator no more with the update. Now, the software you have now, you watch the bottom oscillator. If it crosses below 80, that's a buy. Or above 20, it's a, uh, above 20, it's a buy. Below 80, it's a sell, depending what you use, the DS period. Obviously, if you go shorter, you're going to get in earlier with smaller stops, but they will get stopped out more because you are trading a real small oscillator. I think a lot of traders like 20 because it's sort of the medium of the road, and it's um and it gets you in on nice little uh um it gets you in on nice little uh you know when, when the market is really taking off with speed on the upside or downside. So the zone then okay so what you can do then is I have this indicator to print this so the zone if you click zone. It will only show trades inside of the zone right here. So it only fire arrows inside of the zone. If you un if you if the ATR is printing right here and I get a speed bar down here away from the zone. So let's say I get a, a green speed bar because we want opposite color speed bars to come in against trend. So let's say we get a green speed bar right here. If you unclick zone, it's going to fire a trade arrow right there also. So it will take all the trades. All right. If you click zone, then it's only going to take arrow trades, period, inside the zone. So if you just want, if you just want trades that fire inside the zone, you're good to go. Now the audible alert, I've been, I've been firing this on six different markers today. It works amazingly good. This thing is like really nice. So what happens is, when that arrow fires, I got a gunshot that goes off, or like a missile. It's almost like a missile. I believe it's um, wave. What is that wave? What wave is that? Hold on, let me look. That is wave. Wave three. I have wave three in there, and the wave three is like a missile that goes off. So when the arrow fires, a big loud missile will come across your speakers. That tells you you're in a zone in a possible trade setup on whatever your market. So I have six markets I have with just looking at them, and that's without running the strategy because I'm still working on the strategy right now, which I'll show you. That's just manually inputting these trades with my ATM uh, with the trail on it and break even plus one and four targets. So I got three on top, three on the bottom, and you just, once the missile fires, I see if it's inside the zone. And you got a possible potential setup depending on trend. So that is an addition I put in to the indicator is it will give you an alert. It won't fire when triangles fire or retracements fire. It's only going to fire when that arrow fires. And you can make it a missile sound. And you can put any wave file you want in there. But what I did is your wave file is right here, right there your long and your short alert setup. So when these came up today, a big missile sounded right there and a big missile sound right there, or a big gunshot, whatever you want to do. There's all kinds of waves you can put in there. One, you put one, two, three, four, whatever. You can put your own wave in there also. But that alerted you that that's a trade setup right exactly on that bar. When that bar closed, 
and that closed, that alerted that I'm inside the zone and my DS confirmed entry. It will not fire until the DS is confirmed entry. So that gives you a chance to follow multiple markets. If you if you find settings that you like per market, um, this is a, this is a five Simrenko that I have right now. Uh, this actually, I'm sorry, this is a Unibar, um, but um, we do have five Simrenko. Um, I use a five Simrenko in here also. But uh, the, the the Uni, if if you, I had questions with traders. Um, we have a couple long term traders that use the Unibars. Um, Unibar Renkos, it's free for Ninja Trader. You can put the uni bar up here if you like. So this is actually a uni bar. So if you want to put that up there, you can use different bar types with this indicator. You don't have to use our Sim Renko. All right. Our Sim Renko has a um, market delta built into it and a trend filter built into it. But you don't need to you don't need to use this at all. I mean the bar type. Okay. So that's pretty much the indicator that this update, we're going to get the update out to you guys. Right now, what we have for your own computers, um, the workspaces are already set up. Um, I'll show you that in a second, what it looks like. But the new indicator is really kind of straightforward. It tells you you can change your ATRs, what you want. You can um, put your DS, what you want for a pull-in. The biggest addition, it shows the DS to pull yourself in on the trade. All right, and it's got the alerts for you. And only alert if you're inside the zone. So uh, the strategy then, when we go to the strategy, I'm still working on the strategy here. It's still called JZone. I formatted the strategy the same way because what I wanted to do is I wanted to emulate what the indicator is doing so I don't confuse traders. So you'll put the same input in, the speed period, speed candles. There's your DS period over what oversold. Here's your ATR length, color change. Here's your second ATR you would click on. Put your second ATR in. Here's the DS. This DS will be your entry. Click that on. Uh, your entry, you change your DS to whatever you want. So if you want a 20 in there, when it crosses below 80 to enter after you get inside of a zone, you put 20. If you want 8, put 8. Whatever you want to put in there, you put that in there. Um, if, you, if you click zone, that's only going to, the strategy is only going to take trades inside the zone that qualifies with the DS pull-in. And the stop will be your hard stop. Okay? There will be a start stop time on the uh, strategy. You can change this to anything you want. Trade size. Now, trade size is going to be this. I have four targets. One, two, three, four, four targets. So if you're, um, what I uh, educate traders is start out with the micros if you're going to run this um, because the micros are one-tenth of the big contract. So you can start out with, the uh, if you trade in the, uh, go MES, Instead of doing ES until you get used to your uh, where you want your zones and all that stuff. But you can trade all three zones with this. Just add the strategy three times and trade all three zones. You can just trade the intermediate zone, which is in the room. I love that zone. Um, so uh, you can trade whatever zones you want, and this will automatically uh, uh, enter the trades, put your stop in, and so on. I do have target one, target two, target three. I do have what's called an auto trail, which I'll go over in a second. Uh, but then there's your hard stop. Uh, this will be from entry. It's automatically going to go break even, no matter what. I'm not get, get giving traders an option on this. Uh, this is strictly after it hits your first target, all four contracts will go break even, plus whatever ticks. I got a plus one there. You can put plus zero, whatever, um, but plus two. It's going to break even plus one, no matter what, after the first target. So you can change your first target to whatever you want. Here's what's going to happen, though. After your first target hits, it automatically break even plus one. All four contracts, you're in a free trade no matter what on the strategy. After the second target hits, I mean after the um, um, yeah after the second target hits, it's going to move all your contracts up to the first target. After the third target hits, it's going to move your break even up to everything up to the second target. After the after the uh, third target hits, on the way to the fourth target. Every 10 ticks it moves, it's going to trail by three ticks. It's hard-coded in there already. All right, so it's hard-coded in, and you're already hard-coded all the way in, in as far as that goes. So that's already hard-coded. Now, that if you want to trail like that, just click Trail Stop. That Trail Stop is automatically hard-coded to do that for you automatically. The break-even will be in there after you hit your first and second, or your first target. 
the daily goal, daily stop. Basically, if you want the strategy to shut down um, after you hit a certain goal, you put in, let's say you want to put in, I'm done at $500 or $1,000 or whatever, it will, it will stop trading. A daily stop, if your risk levels at a certain uh, dollar amount during the day and you don't want to go over that, you put there and the strategy should shut down for you when the daily stop um, occurs there also. All right, so I, I, I highly, when you do this, you know, these are just a, a guidance to help the strategy. But obviously, that's why you guys sign all that strategy stuff about the disclaimer, the, the risk about doing strategy strategies, you know, so make sure you're aware of that also. All right, so it's pretty straightforward, the strategy. Um, I'm making it just like, um, I'm, I'm making it just like this zone here also. Okay, I'm making the same, pretty much just like. Okay, so, um, so that that's pretty much the gist of the strategy, um, as far as that goes. Just make sure that you're on sim. You're on sim here when you do it. Sim. All right, you can put your your account number in there. All right, you can do your you can put live in there and move it to live. But I wouldn't do that until you're very comfortable with the uh, with the zones that you want and so on. Also, if you wanted to up your contracts, let's say that you wanted to do more contracts in a, let's say you find a zone you really like and you want to do multiples of two. So if I put two in here, so if if one's in there it's going to be one contract two contracts, three, so it'll be four contracts total. If I go two, then it's going to be three, six, nine, twelve. If I put three, I'm sorry, it's going to go two, four, six, eight, you know, and so on, ten. And then if I go three, it's just going to exponentially go up the contracts. So keep that at one to do one, two, three, four contracts on the strategy. Okay? So that's that's an update right now where I'm at on the new strategy. I'm going to test this. Um, I'm going to test the strategy. Um, I'm actually got the break even working good now. Um, so once I get that all finished, then we'll uh, we'll be good to go, and uh, we'll release this strategy to you guys. As of right now, you guys use the workspace we given you. Now the workspace. Let me show you here real quick. We we got all these charts out to you already. So the the main zone that we have in the room is this zone, right? This is our main zone. And so when you set up the workspace, it's the same thing. When you get inside the zone here, this is the uh, – we're in a downtrend, red. There's red. So you want to look to sell. You have green speed bars. There's your green speed bars. That means you're looking for a move down, green speed bar, move down, green speed bar move down so we want green speed bars against over ATR trend we're looking to sell zones so the way we have it now is a DS down here um, momentum trading I like to see the 8 go below right there the 8 go below the 80 percent to give you confirmation to get in so that would be right there at that level and that would be right there at that level with a small stop just up here some of you are using the magenta the 20 which is right here below 80 gives you more of a confirmation that the market's really rolling over and that's fine also with the update it's going to have an arrow now so what it will do is it will wait for that DS to go below so if it was going to go below 8 and it's going to fire an arrow short right there right above it and that's where the strategy will go short and then it'll wait for it to go below there and it'll fire an arrow like that okay so that you you won't even need to have an oscillator below with the update I'm going to working on now for you right now with all the workspaces you can use the oscillator below for confirmation to pull yourself on these zones uh, but with the new update you don't even need to you look at the oscillator uh, because everything is built into the code okay see let's see if I miss any questions yeah that's what I'm working on now yep you got it All right, let me see. Hold on one sec. 
Yeah, hey, and it, it works around the clock, 23 out of 24 hours a day. There's some there's some big setups around the clock. Um, you can you can look at it. Um, you can look at it, it's not just Eastern Standard Time. This thing, I mean, not Eastern Standard Time, but it works. You know, uh, early hours in the morning, um, and it works. You know, during the New York session, New York session, obviously there's a lot of volume, but you can see a lot of trades come up. So if you go back and you go back early in the morning and you start seeing this is 3, 3 o'clock a.m. in the morning, right? This is 3 a.m. in the morning Eastern Standard Time. You see the zone right here, Emma? This is 3 a.m., I mean 4 a.m. You see, so it's not, it's not just you, you have to trade New York hours. It's not like that. You know, you can trade the zones are the zones, you know, right across the board. It really doesn't matter. Like here is, here's last night, for goodness sakes. This is last night at, let's see, 6, uh, 16, 17, 18. This is 6.30 Eastern Standard Time last night that caught the high when the market opened back up at 6 Eastern. Right here, see those big trades? So it's, it's the same method. It doesn't, don't think of it as I have to trade it during these specific hours. It doesn't work that way. This is a round-the-clock type deal where it can, um, that's why I'm exploring the Bitcoin uh, micro futures with it. It's a $500 margin requirement, but it's around the clock trading, which I like, and it charts really, really well. So um, right into the zones. So don't get, don't back yourself up into it. It's it's exactly in the one time slot. All right, let's go through here real quick. Uh, what are the uni settings? Yeah, I'll go over that in a sec, Dave. Let's see. Can we set up for two contracts only? Um, you can. There's a way you can do it. If you're going to do two contracts only, I would do the. I would go with the four right now to the micro, but I ain't going to work on it to devolve it to that many contracts. Where you can do one, two, three, or four. Right now, it does multiples. Yeah, as soon as I get done with the strategy, we're going to package it together with the indicator. We're not going to shut down what you have though. What you have, we're just going to keep open, um, so you can keep using what you're using. And if you want to use a new zone, if it's more user friendly, because I have the I have the oscillator built into the code for the arrow with an alert system now. If that's easier for you, Brian, use that. Or if you like what you have, that's fine also.